Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Barely. How's that? Better. Okay. Do are we I'm seeing more people? Um, thank you for being here this evening. Um, I'm Ann Breckenridge Barrett. I'm the director here. If I haven't met you, I hope to very soon. I want to thank you, especially the members that are here tonight. It's, it's your membership and your energy that really makes um, these types of programming opportunities available. Um, I want to call out our newly launched director circle. It's our leadership giving group and it, um, it makes these evenings particularly possible and these folks have come together to show their support of our mission and our vision and I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you to the director circle members. If you're interested in the opportunities that the director circle offers and the exclusive um, membership benefits, you can talk to Meg Haggard. She's right there in the white shirt waving um, and she can give you all the information possible. We've had a wonderful spring at the center. We've had record crowds for the Avedon exhibition. Uh, it's been really amazing. We've had wonderful programming. I don't know if um, you were able to see the Danita Sewell lecture. I think that was last week, wasn't it? Um, and the fashion show, we collaborated with students, um, our consumer retail students and uh, Buffalo Exchange, and they did a fantastic fashion show. Um, there's still time to see Richard Avedon, so tell everyone you know. It's closing on May 11th, and Ansel Adams' examples in the Heritage Gallery is closing on May 4th. There's an upcoming members trip to the Phoenix Art Museum to see Mexican photographers, Mexican views. I highly recommend that trip. It's a beautiful exhibition, and if you're not a member, that's another reason to join. Opening on June 1st, we have our new exhibition, Portraits of Poetry, Photographs and Video by B.A. Van Zeiss. And we're doing that in partnership with the Poetry Center, and we're very excited about that collaboration. Um, it, it's portraits of poets, it's intertwining two art forms, and it's gonna be accompanied by Edward Weston's Leaves of Grass in the Heritage Gallery. Um, so we're going to have Westons paired with new acquisitions. It's going to be absolutely lovely. So please, please do come and see that. If you're a member, the member's opening is May 31st, and that opens to the public on June 1st. There will be more announcements soon about summer programming and all the new exciting programs that our new associate curator for academic and public programs, Meg Jackson Fox, is working very diligently on. But the reason we're all here tonight is because of this wonderful gentleman. And it's my uh, pleasure to introduce Larry Fink. Um, besides working as a professional photographer for over 55 years, Larry has had one-man shows at the Museum of Modern Art, the Whitney Museum, the Light Gallery, all in New York City. On the European continent, he has had one-man shows at the Musée de l'ASA in Lausanne, Switzerland, the Musée de la Photographie in Charleroi, Belgium. Recently, Larry has been awarded the 2015 International Center for Photography Infinity Award, Lifetime Fine Art Photography. He has also been awarded two John Simon Guggenheim Fellowships and two National Endowment for the Arts Individual Photography Fellowships. He's been teaching for over 52 years with professional positions held at Yale, Cooper Union, and Bard College, where he is an honored professor. Larry's first monograph, The Seminal Social Graces, left a lasting impression in the photographic community. There have been 12 other monographs, including The Beats, published by Arthur Powerhouse, and Larry Fink on Composition and Improvisation, published by Aperture. His most recent book is Opening the Sky, published by Stanley Barker. As an editorial photographer, the New Yorker and Vanity Fair have been amongst a long list of his publications. Please join me in welcoming the wonderful Larry Fink. <laughs> 